Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to expand two uh, fields. We're going to expand uh, field, well, farmland, I should say, 45 here. If you did not catch the last episode, uh, we went over here and we cleared all of the trees, both from farmland 45 and from farmland 18, and purchased those two properties, too, uh, in the last episode. Uh, so we're going to start off this episode with some time lapse. I'm going to just show the uh, part, bits and pieces of, you know, expanding the fields, plowing, uh, picking up stones, you know, getting ready for planting. Well, actually, I'll probably, I'll probably include the planting in that too. Um, and we'll start the episode off with that. So we're going to expand this, plant corn here. It already has corn in the existing field. We're going to expand this and plant oats in this field in preparation for our upcoming cereal factory that we're going to be purchasing later on. Okay, guys. So uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse and I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>
Met him on a sunny day in late July And everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go Carry on on your own Ever since I got a good look in his eyes I just knew that he was special He said he wanted to take it slow But I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level Cause I wanted that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there But you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how he July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I couldn't get him off my mind All right, guys, we are finished, pretty much finished with the fields. We have one more actual step to do here, though, and that is we need to spray the original cornfield, the one that was planted before I purchased the property, uh, for weeds. You may have also noticed in um, the montage there that that field has stones on it, and that's because the computer farmers do not remove stones from their own fields and once a field is planted you can't remove the stones after after it's planted so we're just gonna have to leave those stones there until we harvest the corn and then I'll, I'll pick them up at that point and finish getting the field uh, fixed up the way it's supposed to be all right so let's pull over into here and load this guy up with some uh, herbicide okay let's go ahead and get some herbicide how about just get 10,000 liters for now okay there we go now it's filled I was having a little bit of trouble too on field 25 that the, the big long cornfield with the roller because you know the area along the bank of the creek there's pretty uneven so the roller was disengaging a few times but I managed to 
managed to get about 95% of it, so that should be good enough. This field's all good to go over here. And I noticed, too, when I finished with it, that uh, it's also uh, got both fertilizer applications, too. Now, the outside has fertilizer application because it was grass, and then we added fertilizer when we planted. But the existing field, or the original field, also is 100% fertilized, as you can see in the lower right-hand corner. So I'm guessing that the computer farmer must have fertilize that before I bought it with the first application. Uh, wait, sorry, that's the wrong field. Yeah, so uh, uh, there's a couple of spots that were missed, but that's not a big deal. Uh, so yeah, you can see this is f field is double fertilized and it is in good shape and ready to go. Um, these little spots over here were from the, you know, the uh, bushes that the plow dug up. So they only have one application. So I don't know, I might run a fertilizer thing over it later after the seed germinates we'll see but otherwise uh, we got ourselves a nice cool barley field here and that one is good to go um, and the other one of course is doing corn and that's the, our first steps towards purchasing our cereal factory and making old guy flakes <laughs> or whatever or whatever uh, cereal I guess our factory decides to make so you know once we get the corn and oats situated and then the next step will be, as far as the cereal factory goes, is to purchase uh, another field, probably a smaller field. And I'm just going to plant a whole mess of flowers and then put a whole mess of beehives down to get the honey. And then once that's underway, uh, we should have everything we need, except for the raisins, which I've already mentioned. I'm just going to buy those to start manufacturing cereal. And cereal is one of the you know more valuable commodities in the game you can make quite a bit of money off of it um well i don't know if, if we're going to make a lot of money off of it we'll see it sells for a lot of money but it depends upon the quantity you know that we can produce too so all right so let's go finish this field out here Yeah, we, we expanded this field significantly. We're also going to have to put another application of fertilizer on this field, too, once the seed germinates. So I'll just come with the muck spreader and throw some uh, some slurry or some digestate on it uh, after the seed germinates. And then the only other thing we'll have to do, of course, is we'll have to pick up the stones later. Oh, incidentally, in case you were wondering why I plowed up field 56 is be for two reasons one I don't know you know it, it basically resets the periodic plowing timer on it for one thing and puts it at the same um, on the same timer as the expanded field but also when you subsoil like that it removes weeds and you don't have to spray for weeds so I decided well I'm just gonna plow the whole thing but I didn't plow this original field because it already has a corn crop planted on it and you know I'm, I don't want to plow that up and just replant it that didn't make sense so, so that's why you know we're, we're just gonna have to leave the stones in place until we harvest it the stones apparently you know do a little more damage to our equipment but I think it'll it'll be able to handle it we'll just have to have to repair it a little more frequently until we can get rid of them so yeah we're just going along here and spraying it's interesting that the spray makes the soil lighter instead of darker <laughs> that's fine with me as long as I can tell where it, where it was sprayed and where it wasn't but if you uh, I mentioned this to you guys a long time ago but if you spray a field with herbicide before it germinates like I'm doing now you don't uh, you don't lose any yield at all but if you wait until you know you start to see the weeds crop up you know then then you start losing small amounts of yield and it gets worse and worse as the weeds get larger and larger but if you spray it before the seed germinate germinates you get a hundred percent of the yield you don't lose any well at least not due to weeds so that is what's going on here all right guys well i'm going to get this uh field finished and then when that's done we will uh, see what the next thing is to do it is uh may the third and so 
We are going to apply a second application of fertilizer on our cornfield, on the original cornfield, uh, because it's going to need that. Let's just double check that if we go into the map here and we look at here. Yeah, so this original section of this field, we're going to uh, spread some slurry on. We are fine on field 56. I might, I guess I could run it over these little spots here uh, for the, the oat field. So we're going to do that, and then we got a couple of chores to take care of. Uh, so let's get started with, uh, let's do the chores first. So we just have to pick up some wool and some eggs and probably do another slurry uh, run to the biogas plant. Oh, also, well, here, we'll take a, we'll, we'll look at the finances at the very, uh, when we in at the end of the episode here. Uh, we need to pay the bank loan back off. So we're not trying to get in, you know, paying for any more interest. So let's run over and get our gooseneck trailer and pick up the wool and the eggs and get those into storage. And I'm going to have to also, uh, whatever, whatever tractor we use to spread the fertilizer, which will probably be the Fent, or maybe the JCB. We're going to have to put some skinny tires on because we don't want to drive over the corn. All right, so we got a bunch of eggs here that have accumulated. So we'll pick those up first. It's interesting, you know, um, in the real world, eggs are like super expensive right now. And if any of you have been to the grocery store um, to buy them, you probably know what I'm talking about. And I guess it's because we had an outbreak of bird flu here in the United States. And, um, you know, a bunch of chickens had to be had to be killed. And therefore, you know, the price of eggs has gone way up. So it's interesting. And it sucks too. Definitely not a good deal. Uh, my heart goes out to all of the poultry farmers out there that this has had a negative impact on. That's the thing about the farming game is you you get to enjoy farming without all the risk uh, that it actually comes with in real life, you know. Uh, let's see, I want to, yeah, get that. So, yeah, that can be devastating for a lot, you know, for, for the real world of farmers when stuff like that happens. And unfortunately, it happens all too often, too. But I guess it's always been that way, hey, on this planet. Why aren't you picking that up? Oh, there we go. I thought I had turned on the button that allows for partial pallet pickup, but must turn it on in the back off again. Uh, we could stand to blow some straw into the cow barn, too, and maybe top the silage off. That doesn't need to be done right now, though, so I don't know. We'll see. The greenhouses are going to need water here again in just a little while. Another couple of days here, in-game days, so i got to get that done, but I'll, of course, do all that off camera. And there isn't really anything for us to sell in May in terms of our products. Chocolate's um, up there, but chocolate is usually worth more in January, so I usually just let it build up and then sell it in January. That seems to be the how the prices fluctuate on it anyway. Whoop. Okay, we'll go store these eggs. One thing that I think I'm going to do in the, the next farming simulator series that we do on the channel here is I'm probably not going to be unrealistic about products in terms of, you know, their freshness. Like, I'm storing these eggs up for a whole year and then selling them once, which is, you know, you can't do that in real life. And... I, I, I was doing that for a long time with the produce, too, but I'm not doing that any longer. I mean, we sell our produce every month. So, but, you know, it is, it is, whoops, what am I doing? I'm not paying attention. I'm yakking here. 
it's just not very realistic and so I think for our next series you know whatever products that we produce that have a you know that are perishable we're gonna we're gonna sell them when they need to be sold regardless of the price so that's just the way you know I, I will feel more satisfied doing it that way even though we won't make as much money because it's just more realistic you know um, so yeah there you go been thinking about that all right let's see so that takes care of the eggs and the wool uh, how much slurry do I have right at the moment slurry for the um, for the biogas yeah, we, we have almost a full tank load, and I think it's out. Well, not quite, but it's it's just about out. So, yeah, let's go get that topped off, too. And then we will get loaded up and go out and do some manure spread. Or not manure, I'm sorry, um, slurry spreading, or more specifically, digestate spreading on our field. We could actually do some manure spreading. We haven't done that in a while. Um, the only thing about that is, how much manure do I have? Um, the only thing about that is, you know, we need to make sure we keep enough manure for the greenhouses, because that's its primary usage. Oh, I guess it doesn't tell me here, does it? We have to go look at the bunker. Okay, let's drop this, this guy off. And... Go over here, take a look-see. That's a decent amount of manure. Does it tell me how much I have in here? Yeah, we have 91,971 liters. Oh, uh, what are the greenhouses looking like? They're pretty full. We could probably get away with a manure spread. The thing is, though, is I've got so much digestate building up that it still kind of makes more sense to use that, I think. We do have to, you know, lease the applicator because I still have not found an applicator up, you know, come up for sale that I want. A couple of them have. In fact, I think there's one no, last, I think it was yesterday in game day, there was one that came up silver, but it's, it's one of the small ones. And, you know, I don't want to get anything too small because it just takes too long, you know, to spread otherwise. So we'll just keep watching it. And when something, you know, comes available, we'll scoop it up. All right, guys. So I'm going to take this load of slurry down to the biogas plant when I'm, and then bring this back. When I'm done with that and we're ready to get started, I will bring you guys back. All right, let's see if the JCB has um, thin tires. I don't know if it does, actually. Nope. Okay, BKT. So it looks like, oh, what did we try Midas? Okay, we got the Midas, too. I mean, I don't think it really matters, does it? It's the same price. So, yeah, let's go with the Midas tires. Okay, so that'll cost us only a 1000 bucks. I have a feeling like in real life, four new tractor tires, even skinny ones, are going to cost a lot more than just a $1,000, but <laughs> that's what it said. Uh, okay, so this tractor is, I think it's a 312-horse tractor. Uh, 313, okay. And our slurry tank requires 275. Uh, but, you know, that, I don't think that's taking into account the applicator. Maybe it is. I think we can do it. And like I said, it might be a bit of a struggle for the New Holland, but I think we can get it done. So let's go ahead and get our usual applicator. Slurry tanks, or no, we have to go into the store here. Uh, the one that we normally lease is this one right here. Yeah, the 21 meter. It doesn't say it has a horsepower requirement, so I guess we're, I guess we're good. Okay, so let's lease this. And then we have to go grab the, uh, the slurry tank, attach the applicator, run down to the biogas plant, fill it up with digestate. 
and then head over to field 25. Let's get her done. Oh, you know what? I forgot. We've got that slurry container thingy. Um, so what I'm going to do is, well, yeah, we're going to, we're probably going to need to refill. I'm going to guess for that field twice. So I'm going to get another tractor on the tanker to take care of that. In fact, why don't we see if we can just send the driver or well, actually, no, I have a, I have an auto drive destination for this. So just go to biogas or digestate load. Shut up. Okay. And then in the meantime, um, let's get the, the fent pulling that big, uh, tank for the surplus. So that way we can just reload out in the field and we don't have to keep coming back. Okay, let's get this guy loaded up first. Yucky. Yucky, yucky, but also very profitable. And environmentally responsible, too. It's, I, I've mentioned this before, but it's, it's there's something really cool about be you know using a recycled product or material or whatever you want to call it um, and you know reusing it like this I like it it's good it's a good thing we're gonna send you uh, to field 25 and we'll just have you stage a set destination just stage right here is good Okay, and then, oh, for goodness sakes. You're fired. I'll take over from here. Well, that's a little too far. You know, something just occurred to me. The tires on the slurry tank are not narrow tires. Hmm, is that going to cause us a problem? In real in real life, it definitely would cause us a problem. What are you doing? Just park, you dummy. <laughs> it's going around in circles. All right, we're going to have to test this on a little corner of the field, I guess. After we stop this drunk driver that we hired come here cut it out get a brain yeah <laughs> it's not a bit of an angle okay so you know what too let's just save the game actually we should be able to drive over the corn with the tractor no problem because we have the, the narrow tires on. Uh, even if we actually hit a plant with the narrow tires, it still doesn't actually kill it. In real life, you'd stay in between the rows, of course, but... Okay, so yeah, the corn's still fine. Now, what happens if the big tires hit them? It seems to be okay. Which makes no sense whatsoever, but... Apparently the game's going to let us get away with it. So, <laughs> so if it's going to let us get away with it, we're going to do it. Oh my word. Okay, so let's get this thing unfolded. And we, we just have to do the original field because the outer part that we did, um, you know, that's already double fertilized. And fortunately, you know, we can use the stones that are there to more or less tell 
where we need to go to get this done. Okay, here we go. Get it out a little further out than I'm currently in. And stay pretty zoomed out pretty far too, just so I can kind of follow where the stones are. This is the first time I've I've done corn in this whole, in this series. We had uh, some corn in a field that we bought a long time ago that we harvested, and I think I've maybe harvested corn once or twice for a contract, but uh, this is the first time I've grown it myself. So it's kind of neat to experience a new crop, you know, a new type of crop. We are going to have to get a header too, a corn header, obviously. Okay, we're getting getting close to the end of the field. It starts to wrap around there. We added all of that space in that corner to this field. I'm sure there are, you know, regulations about how big a field can be on a property. But it just seems to me like, in the game anyways, that there's so much wasted space. You know, which is why whenever I, in most cases, not in every case, but in most cases when I buy a new field, the first thing I do is expand it. Because why not, you know? Let's get, let's maximize its, its yield. It's probably not super realistic to bring it as close to the roads as I do, though. <laughs> but whatever. Once we get the, the outer border of this done, then the rest will be easy because it's pretty easy to see where we've been with the different texture color. Whoops. Turned a little too sharp that way. This is a pretty good size field though, especially if you count, you know, what's across the road too. So we should get a nice yield out of it. I don't know if we'll be ready with the cereal factor factory by the time we harvest this field, so if not, we'll just store it in our silo. Okay, we're at about 20% for the first run. So we'll reload before we Well, now let's just keep going until it runs all the way out, I guess. Oh, you know what? I, uh... Did I cut that too sharp? Sixty-three percent. Yeah. I should have come out further. Okay, that's fine. Let's back this up to about where it should be. The tractor's actually handling this fine, uh, better than I thought it was going to. I think it needs to maybe come... Here, let's do this. Alright, let's drop it down here. And we're going to go out a lot wider here. Again, trying to follow the stones. And that was just about one full tank. Going all the way around like that. And that's right, we missed this little corner piece here too. Alright, good. Let's reload. And of course, uh, the inner circles won't be as much. But yeah, it's definitely going to take probably at least two more refills of this to fully get it. Can I refill from here? Yes, I can. Look at that. So useful, man, to have this bulk tank to bring some of this out here. So I don't have to drive all the way back to the biogas plant. Might even be worth it to invest in a second one of those for the really, really big fields. Of course, this, uh, excuse me, on this particular map, you could probably consider this one of the really, really big fields now with as much as we've added to it. It's not super wide but it's pretty long not the biggest field on the map though 70 70 I think is the largest actual field on the map and I I do plan whoops I do plan on purchasing that at some point let's hit this one little corner piece here that I didn't quite get when we started Oh, 
Okay, I think that's fine. All right, let's flip it back around and then get lined up here. Maybe the the crop damage in the game only applies to the vehicle that the player is driving and not to implements. That's that's really I think that's what's going on here. As much as that doesn't make any sense, you know, but I think that's what's going on here. All right, let's drop her down. Get up to our zoomed out bird's eye view and keep on keeping on. Trying to get over a little more so we're being a little more efficient with our usage here. Don't want to have too much overlap. Yeah, that's about the right spot. Suppose we could set up a GPS angle. We're at we're about 245 degrees here. But now we're fine. I didn't use GPS when I expanded these fields. I I could have, but I don't know, I just kind of felt like doing it myself this time. So there you have it. Plus plus what we were doing was pretty irregular anyways expanding the fields so it would, wouldn't have been entirely useful okay I think what we're gonna do here is get right through here and then we're gonna lift up and realign we are just a 50 percent so yeah I'm guessing you know one more one more tank after this but probably not a full tank maybe though we'll see we we'll still have to go up and then back down and back up again. We should have enough, though, with what's in the bulk tank. Okay, that leaves us at 17%. Let's refill while we're next to the tanker. Incidentally, this might very well be the last Farming Simulator video that I will be able to release before Christmas. So, I would like to wish all of you who celebrate it a very Merry Christmas. Hope you guys have a good time with family and friends. Eat lots of good food, open, open fun presents. Help other people out for the holiday that need it, that sort of thing. Uh, we did some donations to the, uh, the local uh, homeless shelter. And, uh, yeah, and just wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I'll probably get one more um, Silver Run Forest episode out before Christmas, probably. It, I, I haven't been recording on my normal schedule because my dad's here visiting and we got family stuff going on. So, But uh, if, if I can get it out, I will. And I'll wish you all a Merry Christmas on that series as well. Okay. Probably one more time down and one more time back up and we're good. Okay, that should do it. Let's just double check the map here. And this is all now dark blue. There's a spot down there and a spot there. But you know what? I, I think we're good. I don't think we need to worry about that. That might even be for other reasons. Okay, so what we're going to do is... We're going to return the applicator, and then I'm going to just put the whatever digestate we have left in this tank, and we'll just leave it in the tank for the next time. All right, so let's get rid of this slurry tank applicator return. Thank you for your service. That way this tank will be nice and full for the, whoops, uh, for the first time we use it next time oh and let's me put it back in too that's right i forgot about that but no let's um let's just load it back up we're not going to have i don't think we're gonna have a full trailer load but we'll get it partially loaded anyway i would imagine there's no harm in storing the digestate in the yellow tank i don't see why they're why not <laughs> maybe you're not supposed to do that but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, let's get you back to the ranch. Or actually, we'll just use follow me. That'll work. There he comes. 
Okay, let's head back to the farm. We'll take a look at our finances, and then we need to wrap up this episode. For you guys, I don't know how long this episode is ultimately going to be, but I have spent hours <laughs> and hours of real time on this episode, you know, getting those fields done. And I edited it all into a, what, about a 10-minute, maybe, montage for you guys? But th that was like 10 hours, well, probably not 10 hours of work, but quite a bit, several hours of work to do all that. And, of course, I, could, I didn't do it all in one sitting either. But it's fun. I really enjoy this game. I've said this before, but I wished I, wished I would have started playing it a lot sooner. Than I did, but you know, better late than never, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna pull into the shop and just touch up everything repair wise. Love the shop, man. The tractors were in pretty good repair before I started this, so um, that was 1200, that's 315. Fent in the trigger area. It looks like he is. Excellent. Then we'll give all this stinky business a hosing down. If we didn't have product in this, then we would also obviously want to flush the inside out and all the lines, but there's still product in it, so we'll just Get the outside cleaned up. Give our new Holland a little bit of a hosing down too. It did a good job for us, man. I'm, just, I'm impressed. Can I get over here? Yeah, we can. The fence actually pretty clean. In fact, this is too, for that matter. It'd be pretty yucky on the inside, but we'll just pretend like we're wrenching it out on the inside too. Very good. All right, let's get rid of you so you're not charging me. And we will shut off the tractors. And let's take a quick look at finances before I let you go. Uh, this is what's in the sale, by the way. A couple of logging uh, machine harvesters, but we don't need that in this series. So if we go here and hit finances, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pay off this uh, well, I guess we don't have enough to completely pay it off. Yeah, I had to borrow more money just to get all the work done. So let's pay. I'm not going to do anything else today, so let's just pay off as much as we can. And then when tomorrow rolls over, uh, we'll, we'll have more money. Okay, so now we only owe the bank 3400 bucks, Or no, 5000 bucks. Wait, what is it? Yeah, 5000 bucks. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And once again, have a very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.